Hello guys and welcome to the weekly outlook and setups volume 13. It's Ilya here and we're gonna have a quick look over the markets. How did the week close and what do we expect for the upcoming week? If you're new to the channel and you're watching these videos for the first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button in order not to miss my future educational content and weekly outlooks and make sure to check my last educational video. So, as always, we're going to have a look at some of the tradable opportunities uh, for the next week. And what are we waiting for? Let's go. As always, we're starting from the DXY, the US dollar currency index. So what do we have here? We have quite a bearish week, as you can see, bearish engulf. But this whole price action actually happened over the last day. On Friday, we had some news releases and maybe some uh, upgoing fundamental stuff. And we had a very, very bearish dollar. So as you can see, we were expecting this bearish movement since a lot of time. Uh, this is actually 61.8% level from the monthly time frame. We had this 1, 2, 3 evening star formation here, pullback, failure to continue up. And now we are rolling over again. So I think that the US dollar will be getting weaker and weaker. So as you can see, we had this bearish move uh, on the last day, the 23rd of August, Friday. As you can see, we had four days of consolidation and a massive break below. So this kind of structure actually can be our new lower high because we have here high, low, lower high, but right now we're expecting a new potential lower low that will indicate that this bullish trend is reversing. So from the daily perspective, after seeing this massive bearish candle, I'm bearish bias on the dollar. As you can see, uh, we have this consolidation box here getting broken very strongly and we didn't even manage to have a slight pullback, uh, an immediate pullback, let's call it. And so what are my expectations for now? I think price will retrace a little bit because after such strong moves, the price can just continue flushing down or if it's to retrace, it will retrace probably to the 38.2% uh, Fibonacci. So I don't think we will be getting that deep retracement back at, at this consolidation area. And we have some levels uh, here. Here, those are kind of minor higher lows that may act as resistance right now so very bearish on the dollar i believe i will be very bullish on euro usd so let's see euro usd weekly time frame interesting price action even on the lower time frames on the weekly we can see this um morning star formation that formed and then we saw this pullback into the area i think that was kind of a movement to scare out all of the buyers that took uh, longs after the morning star formation and we can see that this week's candle actually uh had some liquidity in and around here exchange and now we see that push up and if we look at the daily time frame you can see though this consolidation here push back down but we can see how well this supportive region held and we can see this last day a very nice bullish push after four days of consolidation exactly as it was with the DXY. So even if we have a look at the four hourly, the consolidation is even better. I will draw it like this. Boom, boom. Consolidation break. Very, very nice break. You can see we're finding uh, resistance right now at this lower high formation. So what do I expect right now? I will be waiting for a nice pullback here of this uh, consolidation resistance, which should turn support. But we never know. The price action may decide to retrace all the way back into the area uh, of the consolidation. So I will be just uh, waiting for some kind of price action and maybe comparing Euro USD with the DXY. So I'll make sure to. Um, to keep you updated about any possible trade on euro usd which i will be sharing with you on my telegram channel euro yen not very interesting weekly closure as we can see this uh, massive downtrend here and the last weeks were just sending wicks to the upside and rejecting and continuing flush so you can see that actually right now we're in no man's land our uh, current and last supportive region could be here a weekly one or about uh, 11.6 
So you can see the weekly time frame, um, not very kind of volatile one and big volume. You can see we had this uh, minor push up, then we rejected and closed as a bearish uh, rejection. But uh, I don't know if I will be looking for longs or shorts. As you as you saw, uh, Euro USD was very uh, very bullish, while uh, the DXY was very bearish. So which means that USD JPY will be very bearish for sure. I will just have a quick look at USD JPY. Yes, you can see the bearishness. And even on daily in the four hourly, you can see this massive, massive flush down. And I think that um, that caused Euro JPY to move like this. You can see uh, how perfectly the correlation works. So let's find a bias. We are not forced to, fire, uh, to find any bias, but let's see daily time frame. We had this consolidation here, bullish candle, bearish candle, nothing really major. And right now I see that we're kind of breaking uh, below this uh, supportive levels here and region, I would call it, because we have a lot of wicks here and we had this daily close below all of the wicks. So I think uh, bearish bias would be more suitable for Euro JPY. But I'm not very sure uh, if I will trade it because Euro USD looks very, very bullish. While Euro JPY is positively correlated to EU. But I will be waiting for some kind of short opportunities if I get a very nice lower high formation here and a nice continuation down. So that's EJ. I think I will be avoiding it just because of Euro USD. But just a quick catch up on Aussie USD. You can see again low volume weekly candle and we're still supporting at this major liquidity level here. You can see we managed to close above again. So judging by the bias of Euro USD, I think this pair should go up as the dollar is getting weaker. But we can see that we're in this kind of accumulation phase right now. Very very confusing and I don't think that we should rush uh, into any trades. Uh, on Aussie USD before we see nice structure forming, maybe break of some of those levels, uh, retra retracement back at Fibonacci levels or just a new higher low and then a continuation up. Right now just by looking at it is very uh, messy consolidating market and even from the daily time frame there is no candle that tells us where the direction may lead. So we may, for example, have a wick fill of this one and then start pumping up and a lot of manipulation is expected in such regions. So I will advise you to just to stay away from Aussie USD. On the other hand, Aussie JPY looks very nice for a short opportunity next week. As you can see, we have the same liquidity level here that we're still uh, kind of trying to approach and tap. We had this very nice uh, bearish engulf weekly one. So that's a very nice uh, bearish confirmation. Even on the daily we had this kind of consolidation here. A break below and I can even see on the daily we had a very nice re uh, retest here. Let's see. Well not really we just have had this immediate one and just a little kind of consolidation here before we broke and continued down. So what do I expect from this market? I wanted to retrace for me a little bit. Uh, my last kind of supportive region is right here, but I do not expect the price to reach all the way to this area because that's hell of a uh, hell of a big retracement, I think. Let's just see. Okay, that's actually uh, the 0.68%. Uh, percent. Uh, sorry, that's the 0.78.6%. So I think that I will be looking for opportunities in and around the 50 and the 61% pocket. Uh, and as for my targets, I will be targeting this level here at around 7600. Or just I will target my 27% extension. Uh, that will give me a nice target. And as you can see, how perfectly aligns with this kind of wick here. Just perfection. So looking for shorts on Aussie JPY, pull back first before uh, going short. Ends the JPY, again JPY pair, uh, a lot of flushes here uh, due to the weakness of USD JPY. So you can see this, this, this kind of price action here is very overextended. But if we drop down to the daily and even the 4 hourly we can see slight pullbacks. 
consolidation break and close below daily uh, support levels and if we drop down to the four hourly we can see even nicer structure you can see we broke below uh, this kind of major here liquidity zone broke below closed below and we have uh, this kind of descending uh, here price action you can see um, high lower low lower high and right now we have created our new lower low so simply I just want some kind of retracement back maybe to this kind of trend line here something like this or just a slight pullback for me to go short and I would not target a uh, very kind of big pips because as you saw on the week time frame we're in crucial areas right now with no support on the left so we can always find some sort of support and start flushing up because you can see we're in a very nicely trending weekly market and I think that we're due to a nice pullback just to create a new lower high on the weekly time frame before continuing down. So if we just put a Fibonacci from the weekly time frame we can see that the 50% actually perfectly aligns with this uh, lower low formation here and we should be expecting some kind of pullback um, maybe in some of the upcoming weeks. But for the next week looking for a quick short opportunity on NJ. So just a quick look on USD CAD because it looks very nice on the weekly time frame as you can see I think that it's a nice Fibonacci level you can see the 61.8% and the 50% pocket so I really expect uh, USD CAD to make a new lower low with targets uh, my uh, 27 and 62% extensions so you can see we have three weeks of pumps into those highs so I think that it's finally time to start flushing down daily time frame we have this kind of triple top here that would be uh, very nicely visible on the four hourly time frame and the last day uh, closed with a very nice pin bar and if we drop down to the four hourly we can see this kind of consolidation area here but we had this high here that's actually a triple top one two three right now flushing down so I really want to see price uh, to violate either this this level here and this this kind of major support so if price breaks those and gives me a very nice retest I will be going short definitely so that's what I look on USD CAD uh, with the dollar weakness I think that this will continue down or if from the current situation I kind of get a minor lower high here I may take a short a lower risk one because we have a lot of support levels to the downside but that's USD CAD. We must have a look at USD JPY because we have a lot of short opportunities on the other JPY pairs so we can see again here very nice bearish engulf weekly candle uh, left a slight wick to the downside but on a big one indicating a lot of bearish pressure and you can see we have this kind of very nice support level here perfectly aligning with this liquidity spot here so those are my targets and I think that price action will uh, manage to tap this kind of key area so uh, looking right now we still have some space to the downside yeah that's about 66 pips but just the push down to the area will give us a nice opportunity on our other JPY pairs. You can see here on the daily we have this very nice daily resistance level uh, failing to break above and right now after 4 days of consolidation we're breaking below. So if we are to take any opportunities on USD JPY you can see this kind of ascending structure here triangular formation break very very bearish break so maybe a slight pullback to go short. Uh, as for my targets that's around uh, 10 4.68 those that's my target that I will be looking for a uh, USD JPY very interesting euro Aussie as we have very strong euro right now pushing and as the Australian dollar we saw that it's kind of in consolidation we expected some long opportunities but right now I see why it does not push up because the euro is stronger than the Australian dollar. So we can see this very nice higher high here on the weekly time frame. We had one week of pullback, and right now I think we're advancing up. 
So this kind of area here would be a consolidation maybe on the lower time frames. You can see we had this very nice pullback here. I don't think that's a nice Fibonacci level. Okay, it's actually 50% perfect, perfect confluence. And as for targets, my 27% uh, extension. And if we just have a look at the four hourly, I think it will get very clear. Yes, we have this consolidation box right here. We managed to break very nice and strong break. And what am I waiting for? Retest of it, new higher low formation for long opportunities. Very nice opportunity on Euro Aussie. Wrapping up the video with a pair I started to trade recently, that's Aussie NZD. So what I like about this pair is that I trade mostly Australian dollar and New Zealand dollar currencies. I like NZD USD, NZD JPY and sometimes NZD CAT and respectively with the Australian dollar. And this one kind of uh, gives me more uh, confluence to the trades I'm about to take because this is uh, actually gives me the strength of either the Aussie and the New Zealand dollar. So what can we see from this chart right now? We can see the weekly candle was a very nice rejection here from, from this uh, kind of uh, liquidity zone, I would call it. You can see here we have support, break, retest, again resistance, fake out here, again a resistance and the final resistance here and we managed to push down and right now we're entering this zone again. So I think that uh, this pair is aligning for a very nice short opportunity after being in a steady uptrend for quite some time. I, I waited patiently because I just wanted to enter short on this pair and we can finally see that the price is kind of violating this trend line here. Very nice retest here. I didn't manage to get an entry because I just wanted to see more confirmation. But right now I have it. We have a new lower low formation here. What am I waiting? Simple lower high to go all the way down to the first point of the trend line. This will be my kind of demand area here, which I will be targeting for long term targets. And if we even pull this re rectangle back, we can see how well it aligns. We have support, support, support from the other side, resistance, resistance, back again, support. So if we want to be precise, I think that 1.050 will be the level I will be targeting or maybe a little bit above, maybe in the middle somewhere around here. So very nice, interesting pair on Aussie NZD. And I really hope you enjoyed this week's weekly analysis and I hope to see you more on my channel. Make sure to leave me some feedback uh, in order for me to know if you like the analysis and I wish you guys a very profitable week and remember to trade your plan and not go into any unplanned trades and FOMO and all of those scary stuff. I will be doing a uh, kind of educational video about emotions. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. Thank you for staying up until now.